Hi there, and welcome to the second video in this series related to becoming a strobist, as I call it. Simply meaning that uh, I try to learn how to control light, artificial light that is, uh, to get better pictures simply. And my hope is that uh, during this journey I will make a lot of mistakes, and from those mistakes you can learn a lot, and you don't have to repeat those mistakes. That's basically sort of the whole idea with this channel, is that I expose all the mistakes that I made. Uh, one thing I didn't do wrong, if I can say it like that, was I bought this YN685, a young new flash that can do many, 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 many things and probably also more than I need. And that was the subject of the first video. Uh, maybe if you, like me, plan to just use manual mode, uh, I think you can do with a more simple and hence a cheaper flash. But that's a different story. I have this one now, so I'll, I'll be using that one. This one comes with a few downsides. One is that it eats battery like my cat eats cat food. I know that's a small reference, but um, it eats a lot of batteries. So that's the bottom line. And I would like to have a solution so that I don't have to charge, either buy a lot of batteries or have a lot of rechargeable batteries that I use over and over again. Also, I think that you can notice as the batteries run flat, the recycle time increases again and again uh, or becomes longer and longer. So these two things I would like to see if I could fix with a so-called battery pack, or power pack, whatever they're called. And I will unpack one from Godox in a few seconds. Uh, but before I do that, I want to point you to an alternative. There is, and this is just Young Nuo, there, there's probably for uh, all the vendors have this alternative. So see this as an example and not me trying to to push a Young Nuo solution uh, down your throat. That's not my intention. But I want to make you aware that in this case, Young Nuo case, you can get a YN686, which is a... Uh, solution where you get a lithium battery so instead of having uh, these uh, standards you you get a, a one large uh, lithium recyclable battery and that one you can use to power your flash and that means that you will get many of the benefits from a power pack one is that it charges uh, a recycle time drops to i think around about 1.5 seconds and the second thing is that you get uh, a recycle or, or rechargeable battery so that you don't have to go and buy new batteries all the time. So that's an alternative. My choice, because I want to stick with this one, is to go for a, a battery pack. So that's what I'll be demonstrating in this video. One thing also to notice is that the external battery pack that, that you attach to the flash here, uh, it only powers the, the lamp up here itself. It doesn't power the inner workings of the, the flash as such. So you will still need to have batteries uh, in the Young Nuo uh, flash. Uh, but of course, because they don't feed the, the lamp or the flash as such, the thing that requires a lot of power, these will last for a whole lot longer. So Let me get on with unpacking or unboxing a Godox flash so we can get on with this video. And while the unpacking runs, I can tell you that there is a lot of stuff uh, in the package. But of interest is the control unit and the battery as such. That's the two orange uh, units. In this case, you can also get them in black. Then there is the cable that leads from the control unit to the flash. And then there is the charger. And those are the key elements. The rest is more or less just uh, distracting elements or things that I think you can to a large extent do without. Okay, so after all the unboxing is completed and I have taken some time off to uh, assemble uh, the unit here, here it is. And as you can see, it consists of a the battery as such, which is down here. Then you have the control unit. You have, in this case, two outlets. They are actually powered by the same battery. So if you use both of these for two different flashes, you would get a little bit increase in uh, recycle time. If you do it like this, I think the recycle time is down to one second. If you use these separately, you are at 1.5 or two seconds thereabout. So maybe not the big difference, but still there is a difference. Only thing to notice here, I think, is that when you order your copy, make sure you order this cable here to fit your flash. 
This is the Canon one, which looks a little bit square. Whereas if you have the Nikon one, I think it is a little bit more uh, rounded. So make sure you order your right version. These comes both in Canon and Nikon versions. But otherwise, it is simply a question of plugging it into your, your flash like this and then give it a go. Here on top, it's also very, very simple. Uh, you just switch it on and off here. And when you switch it on, it tells you how much power you got. It is as simple as that. So let's see what this unit will do. The whole point with this one was, other than uh, saving us from feeding batteries into this unit constantly, it was also to see if we could improve the recycle time. Let me try without the unit, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's there about, I can count to f six or seven. It's in that range. Let me try with the battery pack installed. Same test. One, two, one, one. Yeah, I think it's quite evident that this is much, much faster, right? Wow. <laughs> This is impressive. So I think we can safely conclude that the objective to have faster recycle time is certainly achieved here. Wow, that was quite impressive. So I look forward to using this one. And uh, I also look forward to uh, seeing uh, that I don't have to put so many batteries into uh, the flash here going forward. That concludes the second video. Next time, the third video, I will I will be using or opening this one. This is a Valley Mix, I think it's called. It's a it's an umbrella to shoot through. I think umbrella comes in two versions: those that are reflective and those that are made to shoot through. And then there are of course the advanced ones that can do both. But this one can only do one, and uh, that is to shoot through with the aim to. Uh, spread the light so that it looks more like daylight and I will be using this one together with a, and a few items from Manfrotto to hold it So that's my next video and hopefully I will move closer to actually taking some pictures The first two videos here have been about flash and flash batteries So that's more the gear that is the foundation for being able to do so So I'll be back in the third video. Thank you for watching as always happy shooting. Take care. Bye. Bye